All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. KJCR, JimmyChurchRadio.com. I am your host, Jimmy Church, live from Burbank, California, from the Galpin Ford Studios. Proudly brought to you by National Tax Experts, 877-909-5444. NatTaxExperts.com. It is tax season. Tell them Jimmy Church sent you. Follow us on Twitter, at JChurchRadio, YouTube, Jimmy Church Radio. Facebook, JimmyChurchRadio.com. My personal Facebook page is also Jimmy Church. You can certainly email me right now to Jimmy at JimmyChurchRadio.com. For syndicatednews.net, here we go. Penn State's new president, Rodney Erickson, in his second press conference in Philadelphia, is blaming Jerry Sandusky for the school's celebrity, for the school's problems. And I'm going to insist right now, Dr. Rodney Erickson, that you fact check your story before you speak to the press. You're way off base here, my friend. He was quoted as saying yesterday, it grieves me very much when I hear people say the Penn State scandal. This is not a Penn State scandal. This is the Jerry Sandusky scandal. We are not going to let what one individual did destroy the reputation of this university, end quote. There's over 650 people in attendance when he said this. What he doesn't get and what he doesn't understand and apparently what he has forgotten is the staff, the administration at Penn State who brought this scandal onto Penn State. And I'm talking about Joe Paterno, Tim Curley, Gary Schultz, Graham Spanier. That's why it is the Penn State scandal. President Rodney Erickson, listen to what I am saying. It would be just Jerry Sandusky had any one of the aforementioned four individuals gone to the police. Anybody would have, anybody that would have gone to the police and turned in Sandusky and gotten him arrested going as far back as 1998, it is a Jerry Sandusky scandal, and the, and the situation has ended right there. You did the right thing. The school did the right thing. That's not what happened. Paterno, Curley, Schultz, and Spanier chose instead to keep it inside at the school to hopefully sweep it under the rug, to hope that Jerry Sandusky would just straighten up and not molest any more children. But that's not what happened. So it is indeed a Penn State problem. Everything that has come down in this school, and I'm talking about from uh, the money problems that are going to happen, the grants, the donations, the enrollment, the football program, everything there is a Penn State problem brought on by the Penn State administrative staff, including yourself. You were there since 1977. For syndicatednews.net, I am your host, Jimmy Church. We'll be back right after this. 